All right, so looking at Unit 6, Homework and Remembering 2, looking at number 2 on the homework side, it asks us to solve each problem and draw a model if you need to. We've been talking about two types of models so far during Unit 6. We have a break-apart model, which the students learned about in Unit 6, Lesson 1, and the box model that we've been using, kind of like an area model, for this lesson two. So, number two says, how many periods of time, each one third of an hour long, does a eight hour period of time represent? Okay, so we have to solve each problem and draw a model. I want to think of a model first, and let's do the one from this lesson, kind of like the area model. We have an eight hour time. So we're going to put that in the center because that's our total eight-hour time. And we know we're going to look at one-third is what we have. And what we're trying to figure out is this N. We don't know what that is. That's what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out how many periods of time. So if we're trying to find N, solving this area problem here, if we look at it in this model, how do we find out N? If we set this up in an equation, what are we going to multiply, are we going to divide, are we going to add, are we going to subtract, what operation do we use? We know area is length times width, but when we don't, when we just have the width, and we have the length, or we have the width and we have the area as represented as 8, how do we find n? How do we find that? Well, hopefully you're thinking of division. Because our equation to set up would look something like this. N equals, and this is a solution equation. Solution equation. Okay, because N is the solution. It's the variable that is the answer. When it's in the answer, not a um, dividend or divisor number or a product or an addend. When it's the answer, this is a solution equation. Because when we find n, it's going to give us the solution, the answer. So, thinking of this would be n equals 8 divided by the number given, 1 third. Hopefully you remember a little bit about division. We have to take the reciprocal, and that is the reciprocal 1 third is 3. And we take the opposite of division, which is multiplication. And this is easy for us now. 8 times 3 is 24. So there are 24 periods. Okay. So this is using our box, our area model to represent a solution equation here. And then our answer. So when you write your answer, make sure that you have the solution equation on the line for number 2 and also the solution, what n is equal to. n is equal to n is equal to 24, because 8 times 3 is 24. All right. So hopefully you're starting to understand a little bit of this. Um, the problems throughout on this unit, um, unit 6, lesson 2, these problems are all on division and multiplication. So good luck. I'll make sure you're working hard on the remembering side as well, showing all of your work. Have a good night.